Hello. I want to have a casual chat and share some personal stories uh, because I read an excellent novel recently, which has me thinking about and reflecting upon some quite big issues to do with ambition and motivation for living and the meaning of life itself and the meaning of death, uh, because this story is very specific, but I feel like it has a lot of universal resonance and especially for us dedicated readers when we spend so much of our lives with our nose in a book um, reading uh, so much of the time that uh, sometimes we can feel a bit anxious of uh, am I wasting my life of of just reading all the time rather than, you know, being physically out in the world and living. But then uh, on the, the other hand, it feels like reading is the, the only thing that is truly meaningful in, in life. And uh, it's really interesting how this story in Martyr by Kaba Akbar uh, traces um, this, the journey of its protagonist, Cyrus, uh, because he is at a particular point in his life in his late 20s and early 30s. And I feel like this is a, a time in life for a lot of people when uh, a lot of that driving ambition and uh, and idealism of youth um, starts to fade away a little bit and kind of cold hard reality sets in, um, but also having lived long enough to know oneself a, a bit better and what you really want in life and, and what um, will make you happy and and uh, and this isn't the case for everyone I mean of course we're still always growing and changing but I think in general this is a kind of tipping point for a lot of people and and I found that myself in my own personal experience because uh, when I was younger when I was a teenager and in, in my early 20s I had so much driving ambition. I, I wanted to be a, a writer. I wanted to write things of significance that, you know, had real meaning and connected with uh, other people in a really deep way and, and felt this driving force. And, uh, and so I, I spent so much time, uh, writing and reading. And I, I wrote uh, an entire book and I submitted it to a first book competition at a small publisher and it won that competition and I got a publishing contract and some money and I, it got some nice uh, attention from authors I really admire like Joyce Carol Oates and uh, Ali Smith um, who kindly um, wrote uh, some endorsements for the book and uh, and so this was so wonderful and I was I, I wanted to write more and more and uh, and so I wrote more stories and I was working on a second novel but somewhere in my late 20s I found all of this driving ambition kind of melted away a little bit and I just became so engrossed in the things that I was reading that I, I didn't feel that same ambition to keep writing and it's it's funny because I mean, people often ask me like well are you writing are you working on something and and it's wonderfully like encouraging that people want me to do this but at the same time I, I if I don't have that that kind of burning drive um to create um that I think is uh often attached to this ambition to to want to to create um some great um like literary artworks uh then uh then it's it's not going to happen and uh and I've gradually over time like let the stress of that go and um, my anxiety surrounding that go and and think well maybe at some point I'll go back to to writing but for now I'm just so engaged and enjoy reading and uh, and so for the protagonist of Cyrus um in this story uh, he's uh, a poet um but uh, he doesn't often feel that motivated to to actually write um he also struggles with issues to do with substance abuse and alcoholism and and uh, that really like frustrates his process but he's also very haunted by um the the loss of his parents and so he lost um both his parents in different circumstances his 
he lost his mother at a very early age um, when she died. She was on a commercial airline flight, um, which was shot down by the American military in a in a mistaken operation. And so, in a way, he feels like her death was. Meaningless, and、uh, also his father.、Um, he worked very hard、uh, at and very、um, grueling, laborious labor uh, in uh, in uh, in manual labor、um, throughout his life to to support both himself and his son, and、um, and、uh, and it really drove him to an early death. In a slightly different way, he feels like his father's. Death was was slightly meaningless, and so he wants his life to have meaning. He wants to create an, an artwork, and if his actual life can have meaning, he wants his death to have meaning. So he starts thinking about this long term project of considering different martyrs from history of people who died for a specific purpose, and and his ideas about this are challenged、uh, along the the way. And、um, I th- feel like it's so down to earth how this story handles. Um, this this plotline of、uh, of him、um, really searching for this this meaning in life,、um, which、um, he recognizes is. He has very like lofty ambitions,、um, and he's、uh, he's on the brink of becoming a, a stereotype. But at the same time, and、um, it's kind of a, a stereotype because he、um, he he really feels all of these things, and、um, and he 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 is stressing about these questions to do with the the meaning of life, and、um, in a in a very poignant way. And、uh, and so following his his journey,、um, he. He encounters、um, an artist who is、uh, has launched this project called Death Speak, and、um, because she has terminal cancer, and、um, she knows that she's going to die, so、um, she has set herself up in an installation in an art gallery where she just sits there all day, and anybody who wants to come and speak to her、uh, about death or any issues、um, can come and have some time with her, and and they can have. Really meaningful exchanges in this way, and this is a woman of uh, of uh, who's uh, Iranian, and、um, and Cyrus himself is of Iranian descent, and both of his parents、um, came from Iran, and、uh, and but he's lived his entire life. In America, and he feels very connected to,、uh, or at least longing for a connection with uh, his uh, Iranian heritage and and history, and he's made very aware of、um, his status as an Iranian American because you can't not be、um, being that in、uh, America, and、uh, and following the sense of himself, but、uh, also how there are so many contradictions to do with、uh, his character,、um, which、uh, the the novel points out. And And、uh, which people he knows points out, like his Alcoholics Anonymous、um, sponsor and、uh, the artist who he goes to meet and spend time with over a number of days, and、uh, after a first、um, oversharing with her,、um, then having very、uh, meaningful. Exchanges talking、uh, about all of these issues and、um, and what he wants to do with his life, or even if he wants to continue on in his life,、um, or if he wants to have a meaningful death, and and、uh, I. I Felt the like real stress and、uh, anxiety of his situation so much, and、uh, also was able to to relate to it on different levels. Even though、um, his experiences and and sense of self are very different from my own,、um, I felt like I could really connect to like a lot of those struggles because you know I myself have really wrestled with issues to do with like does my life really have any meaning and but does. Is is it important to to feel like you have a, a meaningful life when、uh, when it feels like so much about our existence and our our lives is kind of random and by chance?、Um, so does. Life itself need to necessarily have a meaning, and and I I found it really moving、um, where this novel goes and and how the the story concludes、um, because I I found myself I'm really the the great meaning and、um, that I I found in life is through the. The pleasures and the joy and、um, and the the beauty of of reading and literature, but also having connections with other people in in my real life of the the connections I, I have with family and friends and with my husband and、uh, and that is 
the thing that really drives me and the, the connections I form through all this bookish stuff that I do online and connecting with other readers um, where we can have a really meaningful exchange about books that we've read um, at, a, at a certain time. And, and the, the real beauty and like, wonder of that is, uh, is I could just randomly get a message about a book that I wrote about a number of years ago on my blog or, or made a video about here on my channel and suddenly get a comment from someone who has just read that book and wants to talk with someone about it and then go back to this point. Um, a number of years ago when I had read it and reading that comment, I'm suddenly transported back to the experience of reading that book and and finding um, a connection in that way. Um, I, I I find that so so comforting and um, and really uh, something that that does make life feel worth living uh, in this way, even though it doesn't feel like a great accomplishment in this way of a kind of having a youthful ambition of wanting to to create something that will have like such um such a be such like a a big like meaningful work that will be like celebrated for 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 all time and uh, and so uh, yeah i i just found it so moving um how this novel looks at a, a lot of these issues um and i found it really personally touching um but also how it looks at, at other issues to do like with queerness of um his, of um, his his own um, homosexuality or bisexuality, um, but but also um, to to do with um, lovers between women, and uh, and so I, and I found it really touching um, how it it handles this um, in a way of as just um, being a, a part of um, himself and something that he he wrestles with um, in his his life and knowing how to express or embody that um, or to um, create connections with with other people. And I found it so creative and imaginative uh, how this novel uh, really creates like a dialogue and uh, and and works through a, a lot of these big issues um, by by creating these imaginary conversations uh, between uh, both real like historical figures, um, people in Cyrus's own life, um, but also figures from popular culture. And and so there can be these kind of like um, absurd and um, and and very playful um, conversations, but that also um, convey a, a lot of meaning and are really wrestling with with all of these issues that uh, so many of us struggle with. Um, so I, I'd love to hear from you if uh, if you've um, similarly um, wrestled with uh, kind of like ambition in life or or wanting to have a, a meaning in your own life and and um, how you've been able to, to negotiate that through your experiences and and how you feel about um, as like being a reader in your life. Is, is that the thing that you feel like um, gives life it's real meaning or is it just this kind of like pleasurable leisure activity um, that you engage with uh, on on the side? Um, I, I would love to, to hear about that in the, the comments, but also uh, if you have read uh, this this novel, um, which I would really highly recommend because uh, I think it's so um, excellent uh, how it embodies uh, all of these things while telling a, a story that's um, very specific and, and meaningful and uh, and uh, yeah, what a what an exciting new writer and um, so uh, thank you for for watching me um, waffle on about uh, all of these like big issues and uh, but I hope you're doing well and reading good things I'll speak to you again soon bye bye